Pinkmon and welcome back to the Eevee Legacy Challenge. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick, I did a makeover on Eva. I found these CC ears that look like Eevee ears basically. And as cute as her original ears were, these were just too perfect to not use. They come in so many different categories and I actually got some other ears. So I have ears from two different creators, but these ones right here I thought would be maybe cool for like the Vaporeon generation. And here's all these ears, but there's also these that could be Vaporeon and I don't know, this could maybe be Jolteon. They come in all different categories, including like skin details and a bunch of different accessory categories. So I really like them because you can use them combined with other things. Um, the only thing is with earrings, you can't really see the earrings unless they're really big ones. For example, these, they get kind of distorted, but then something like this kind of works. Um, some earrings work better than others. I didn't really give her earrings for all her outfits, but like, those look okay. I don't know, I kind of want to give her earrings, but maybe I'll just give her these little heart earrings. Those are cute. So anyways, I gave her kind of a makeover too, just because she's been wearing the same stuff since the beginning. I changed her hair because the one she had, the ears kind of cut through it. So yes, she's rocking the Sailor Moon hair. Don't call me a weeb or anything. <laughs> I just think it looks cute on her and it works with the ears, so I'm keeping it. I changed her dress. Also, these shoes I've literally been using on like all my sims. I'm obsessed with them. I want them in real life. Um, formal I didn't change. I don't even know if you've seen her in her formal before. Uh, here is her athletic. I just changed the hair. This is the other hair I'm using on her for some of the outfits. Sleepwear. Um, here's her party wear. This outfit is new. Swimwear. That's the same. Hot weather I changed a bit. And cold weather I totally changed because I found this fuzzy jacket and I don't know, I just, and these Uggs. I just think she looks cute. I didn't give um, Salim a makeover just because I think I made him over pretty recently, but anyways, yeah. So Salim did bring in decent money and we were able to furnish the house as you probably saw in the last episode. Um, by the way, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but yeah, we have an Eevee statue now and I'm obsessed, but um, we have like no money I got a little bit of money back by getting rid of like the light fixtures in the rooms we're not using right now. And I also got this outdoor trash because I realized we don't have one. <laughs> um, basically what we're doing today is we're going to have them work and get some money and then I was thinking of actually starting a bakery when they get enough money because Eva has to work on her baking skill. I don't even think she has any baking skill and she has to master it by the end along with cooking and gourmet cooking so cooking she's already halfway there baking she has level two and we haven't started on gourmet cooking so let's have her work hard what about Salim what's he up to he works in two days so he actually has the day off he needs to read books we'll have him do that for sure um, I am really excited about how the house looks. I think it looks really good. He actually has the bills in his inventory. They are 475 which isn't that bad. Hopefully we'll be able to pay for that, like, before they shut off the power. <laughs> Let's have him come up and read. Reel her in. I don't know what it is about their bedroom that I love so much. I think it's just, like, the muted color palette and... Honestly, the colors, I kind of went off of this painting right here. Like, all the colors in the room kind of match it. And I just love how it turned out. Even Evie's bed kind of looks good. So, we're definitely going to have to breed Evie at some point, by the way. Because we have to get our next generation puppy heir, or fox heir, whatever. <laughs> Which isn't part of the rules, but I just want to do it. Salim is done reading his first book. We'll have him read another one. Uh, orbital pudding, sure. Oh, I just noticed that apparently reading one book was enough for this. Even though it said to read two, whatever. <laughs> so, we'll just have him put that book back, I guess, and maybe show Evie some love. 
I guess Evie's doing fine, but still. They need to bond a little bit. Let's give her a big treat. That always helps. How about Salim wear some clothes? <laughs> Let's talk to her and pet. Praise her. Get to know her. And offer friendship. Hopefully she'll take it this time. Did she accept it? Yay! She's finally accepting him. <laughs> Let's play with her. And what time does Eva get off? 5 p.m. I think Eva would be really happy to see this. Her little fox is getting along with her boyfriend. I don't think she would marry someone if her Evie didn't like them. <laughs> Salim's feeling kind of hungry, but I want Eva to cook for him, like a nice fancy dinner. Nope, stop. <laughs> um, because she needs to work on her cooking skill anyways, and that'll be romantic and they can save money instead of spending it at a restaurant. I'll have him fill this bowl and waste another five bucks. <laughs> And I guess we can have him just wait. What else does he have to do for his job? Or we could work on this. He has to write books. We'll write a workout guide. No, I don't think he's an expert on that. Maybe he can be like a screenplay type writer. Whenever I have writer sims, I really like to make them focus on one genre just because it kind of makes sense or like one or two different genres. We're gonna make him a screenwriter, I've never done that. All about cleave, uh, no. What can we call this thing? Okay, I went full cheesy mode. It's called Love Forever, ha ha ha, another pun. The series is full of puns, so lame. And it just says dedicated to the love of my life. Oh, I'm gonna die, it's so cheesy. Okay, while he's working on that, oh, she got promoted to caterer. Yay, we can pay our bills, thank God. Let's do that real quick. Give these to her. Why can't I give them to her? Well, I guess he's just gonna pay him. While he's working on the book, we'll have her come and make some kind of dinner. Should we try a gourmet meal? Vegetable tempura? Sure. Zoe wants to hang out. She does need to have a little outing with her friends again, but maybe when we have some more money. What? <laughs> Imagine Eva joining the Renegades. No thanks, not interested. Bills have been paid. Nice. Okay, um. We'll have him come put away this toy while he waits for his future wifey to cook. They need to get engaged kind of soon because I want to start on these five babies. Let's put this over here. Eva, you should call him to the meal. <laughs> Where did it go? Did I lose it? Please tell me I didn't throw the food into the trash somehow. I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> Please. Is it in here? Spaghetti. Grilled cheese. Be Where is it? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. My my mouse was nowhere near the trash. What? Oh my god. So much for cooking your man dinner. <laughs> oh, I found it. It somehow got into her inventory. Thank god. <laughs> so let's have him come grab a serving. Ah, I just love her new ears. She looks so cute. And we're definitely going to have him, like, thank her for the food and everything. Discuss food flavors. Get to know. Talk about the thunderstorm. Enthuse about interest. I don't know why he's feeling energized, but he is. Whoa, this thunderstorm is pretty intense. Oh, he's like complimenting it. I love it. I'm so glad I picked him over the other guys. 
<laughs> what is that face she keeps making? That vegetable tempura is actually kind of making me hungry. <laughs> so you don't have to go out to have a nice little date. You can stay home and eat home-cooked food. It's healthier and you save money. I guess he didn't pick up this toy. Is Evie dirty or is that just her color? <laughs> I can't really tell. But she looks dirty. Maybe we'll just give her a bath just in case. And I'll have Salim do it because he's kind of bonding with her. Give Evie a bath. She has to work on her mixology skill as the caterer? I didn't know that. I guess it makes sense. Um, we can't really do that here because we don't have a bar, but I guess we could go out to work on that. She does have to prepare more drinks and food. It's only eight, maybe they can go out with their group of friends soon and she can just take over at the bar there. Maybe she can like tend the bar and make some tips. That would be cool. Aww, I love how they're bonding. Okay, I'm so obsessed with her new look. I can't get over it. Okay, well, Evie's done with her little bath. So let's go have a little social event. It's so weird for me having my sims be so social because, like, I never really do that. <laughs> Except in this series. Let's do... You know what? Let's just have a house party. And we're not gonna make it a gold event, whatever. Oh no. Can we not afford it? <laughs> Are you serious? That's lame. Let's just do a dance party and we can have it here because we have a stereo, so why not? Party goers. So obviously we're going to do our little group of friends. Let's invite some of her other acquaintances too. Uh, is that, are these the only people available? It's kind of weird. Oh, can we not have it at home? Ugh, whatever. We'll just go to the ruins. Whoa. There's a lot more people than I invited, so that works. That's the good thing about the dance parties. Let's come dance together. She can maybe meet some more people here, too. She is, like, the most social sim I've ever had, who has the most friends <laughs> out of any sim ever. Let's talk to Zoe, because I think she misses her a bit. They haven't been able to hang out quite as much as usual. At least it's not raining, that's good. Um, I think we need to meet Jade Rosa cause she seems like she would also like to be a part of their little friend group. And then we can talk to Miko a little bit and Mitchell. I wonder how Jay and Zoe's little dating Thing is going. I don't know if they're officially in a relationship, but I know last time we saw them, they started dating. I love every sim with this beard. <laughs> did she end up meeting Jade? I think she did. Whoa, they have this whole huge group conversation going. I hope Gavin's okay. He was really upset last time about the whole just being friends thing. Let's talk to Alice Lewis. I'm literally just gonna have her meet tons of people. Oh my god, it's Candy Bear. They would be friends too. <laughs> She's kind of just one of those sims you can be friends with anyone, so. And after she finishes these little conversations, I'll have her go over there and start tending that bar. Okay, I think it's time to kick this bartender off of this bar. Can we? I'm probably gonna have to reset her. Reset and tend bar. All the like workers are elderly. <laughs> now who is going to tip us? Can you get tips from this? I'm pretty sure you can. What is this? We don't need to chat. Come on people, order drinks. Okay, here we go. She's not gonna be good at this at first. You can do it girl. Oh. <laughs> I hope she makes tips from this. I hope this doesn't cost her money. I don't think it would. How is Salim doing? I've been kind of ignoring him this whole time. 
Um, let's have him chat with the little friend group here. Let's have him talk to Gavin. I think that Eva would have told him about Gavin just because she's one of those people who's totally honest in a relationship, so she wouldn't be hiding that or anything. And she probably told him he didn't take it well. Let's talk to... Does he even know Miko? No, let's have him meet her. And... Yeah, just talk to everyone. Whoa, this bar is getting busy over here. I hope Eva can handle all this. She seems to be enjoying it. She would probably make a good bartender anyway since she's so social. Wow, she's making so many drinks. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> she's almost to level two already. This is perfect. She can work on her career while at a party. Once she gets to level two, I'm gonna have her actually just make herself a drink and get off this bar. Let's also introduce ourselves to this Joe Kwan guy. He's pretty cool too. I'm having my Sims befriend all those like party type Sims, like all the townies that generally you think of when you think of like clubbing and partying. <laughs> it's funny because the EV generation is supposed to be a super family oriented sim, which she is, but she also likes clubbing. Well, she doesn't have kids yet, so not that you can't club if you do have kids, but you know what I mean. I love the lighting here. Ooh, this place over here is orange lighting, and over here we have blue lighting. Honestly, the ruins in this game are pretty boring without the dance party. Like, it's just kind of empty, and the only thing to do is this fire. Okay, Eva, where are you at with this skill? Oh, she's almost there. So I just noticed we're definitely not getting paid for this, so that stinks, but that's okay. At least it doesn't cost us money to make the drinks. I could have sworn you would get tipped for this, but that's okay. By the way, another thing I was thinking for making money, she could bake and then sell her baked goods, not even out of like a retail thing, but I think you can sell them like, there might be a mod for it, I'm not really sure, but I think you can just have a yard sale or something and sell them. So we might do that if we don't end up having enough money to get her own um, actual store. Or we can just sell them from her inventory because I know you can do that with the baked goods. And now Salim is fertilizing a bush too. <laughs> Good times had by all. Thanks for including me. Well, of course we included you. <laughs> Mitchell is good friends with Eva now. Oh, did they kind of boost their relationship because of this party? Why is he embarrassed? Did he pee himself? Oh, somebody must have been using the bush. <laughs> Oops. Oh, she has a headache. Let's have them go home. <laughs> Despite her being, well, both of them being kind of miserable right now, that was a pretty good party. Like, everyone had fun. She did her whole mixology skill, so it was kind of a success. And it is still raining on their home lot, which Eva loves, as we know. Let's see, is Evie okay? She just needs to go to the bathroom, so we'll have her do that. These two are really dirty for some reason. Let's have Eva come take a steamy shower. Because I think these two deserve to end the night on a romantic note. We only have one shower right now, so... Salim's gonna have to wait. <laughs> Too bad they can't shower together and do the shower woohoo. I used to do that all the time in Sims 3 because it accomplished so many things at once. Their fun would max out, their hygiene would max out. Plus, you could also make babies in the process. <laughs> It was very useful and they need to bring it back. So what's up with this headache she's having? This is from the slice of life mod, by the way. It just says from life. <laughs> Poor thing. Um, bladder infection. Oh my God, what? I don't know all these special things that can come up, but that does not sound good. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh God, oh, that's interesting. So she'll actually have to use the bathroom more often. I gotta like read up on that mod. 
There's all kinds of stuff that can happen, I guess. I didn't even know that. She has a headache and a bladder infection, so I'm not sure how flirty she's feeling right now, but let's have Celine come embrace her. Maybe he'll make her feel better. Give her a passionate kiss. Should we have him try for a baby? We shouldn't. We should. Oh my god, I don't know. No, we're just gonna woohoo. <laughs> Not yet. I want them to get married first, which will be pretty soon. They're definitely getting engaged this week. I'm not sure exactly which day. What's going on this week? Nothing really. So yeah, one of these days this in this week, they're definitely getting engaged. <laughs> I can't get over the Sailor Moon hair. It just fits her really well, though. I don't know. I like it. I don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> Okay, and let's give them some privacy. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to end the part here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!